What's up everyone? It's your boy coming at you with some so sad news. <laughs> James Charles. <clears throat> Can't find love. <laughs> no, but really, we're just gonna talk about escándalos and the makeup, so. So James Charles just posted a TikTok um, saying TikTok bachelor, he's looking for love, he's out there trying to get at it. Here, I can't believe I'm making this video right now, but I feel like this can't hurt and I don't think it'll turn into a scandal either, so I guess here goes nothing. I want to play TikTok bachelor. My name is James Charles, I'm 20 years old and I am 5'10". I live in Los Angeles, California and I am a beauty YouTuber, so sometimes I look pretty and when I don't look pretty, I have a pretty fun personality to make up for it. I like horror movie escape rooms, singing with friends, eating at new restaurants, and also I have fun nails for back scratching and cuddling. If those things are of interest of you and you are a male, leave me a comment down below or I guess do it this video. Okay, desperate. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. It's all jokes. I get it. I get it. I get it. Bachelor, you know, a lot of people are doing it. And so apparently some guy responded to his video saying hit me up and everyone was like OMG, 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 suck out, whatever. However, then a bit later he posted some DMs between him and James trying to call James Charles out for still hitting on straight boys. Um, saying that he, that he was straight and that he's like 17 years old and that he was just joking. So after he does that, many influencers stood by James calling that kid out, saying how could people do this? How could they just, you know, reach out to these influencers and then do it so that they can go viral? Um, a lot of people stuck up for him and then he posted a tweet um, basically explaining this happens so much now that he's that this happens weekly some guys slide into his DMs claiming they're interested talk for a few days and then once they have the content they uh, post it and claim that they're straight um, it's called a queer baiting I guess and he calls it pathetic which yeah, it's pretty pathetic. Then he said the funniest, most embarrassing part of this is that almost every single one of them actually flirted. They would send inappropriate photos. They would apologize after it went viral. Um, and he has all the receipts so that he can prove it. He then posted a Snapchat addressing everything. So let's just watch that. Viral post and he created this whole TikTok thinking that when he did post it, all of the comments were just going to be like, oh my God, I'm so sorry that you dealt with this. He's disgusting. Like, holy crap, James is still a p And of course there were comments saying that from people, uh, but there were also a lot of comments being like, hey, wait a second. Like you lied to him. You slid into his DMs, you flirted with him, you led him on, and now you're blasting this personal conversation everywhere? Like, Just you're not the victim, James is. This has been happening to me for like two to three years now, and it was happening to me before the scandal back in May, and now because of the scandal back in May, this is still happening to me to this day, but now it is getting way, way worse and way more frequent. And this is happening because despite the fact that there are a lot of smart people out there that realize how fucked up and manipulative this is, there is still a very large audience of people who see these videos and still leave comments calling me or still like them, still engage with them. And not only does this give the boys that actually make the videos exactly what they want, which is attention, it also shows other boys that they can do this and it's okay when you laugh and when you leave those comments and it's just a never ending cycle. And it is so incredibly frustrating and it is disgusting and it needs to stop. Now, obviously when I get tagged in these posts and I have to watch my private conversations get blasted to the public. It's really, really embarrassing. And I hate that I have to see it. I hate that you guys have to see it. It's sad and it's also really discouraging. There have been so many days where I've had full on anxiety attacks and I've cried myself to sleep and I never want to talk to another guy again. We believe you and we sub looking back at the drama, I can see why he was um, ostracized. I can see why a lot of people were coming for him because of the Tati, because of the Tati controversy. But honestly, just leave the poor kid alone. He's a kid, dude. Like, 
He's just trying to get out there. He's trying to get some. He's trying to get some. Okay, I'm done. So as many of you probably know, Trisha Paytas, yes, the one, the only Trisha Paytas gets called out by Anthony Padilla, Padilla. Padilla Padilla. Uh, no one cares. She was recently on the H3 podcast, which if you guys watch it, then we're homies. She talked a lot about it in that podcast. Day with a YouTuber, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe in a year from now we'll be friends. Who? Oh. Anthony Padilla. I did like this whole hate video on him. Well, not hate video. He hated me, and then I went back at him. Wait, and what? Yeah. Why did you? <laughs> Wait, Isn't he so, what? Like, what PC happened? and careful. Yes. But what did he say about you? Um, I just did a video talking about like how I think I have like multiple personalities, and he's like. No, you don't. Fuck you for claiming this. Uh, like, all this yeah. shit. And I was like, he's got fuck a, you for he's, telling me. He's the type of dude who gets offended for other people. Yeah, and also I was like, I'm just telling you how I feel. Like, I do feel like I have, like, multiple... And, and everyone comes at me. I was like... He, he said something annoying to me once where I was talking about... Oh, on your video. The one that I said, uh, Instagram <laughs> reality. He made some really annoying comment about, like, do you really think it's appropriate... Oh, yeah, he goes... Do you really think it's appropriate to talk about body shaming when you're claiming that someone looks like a beached whale? I was like... Shh. See, I hate people like this that just white knight everything. I was everything. like, yes, dude. I was like, yes, bro. It was funny. No, yeah, and I hate that because it's like, you know what? Like, you, like that's so funny because he was kind of, in a way, like, siding on me with that one. And then now he's yeah. coming for me. He just wants to come for everybody because right. it's, like, popular. He's just like, the good guy. He's, like, the good guy at all costs. <laughs> Defending myself makes me a crazy bitch, then so be it. I'm so sick and tired of people discounting me as a fucking human being. It's clear to anyone who has watched me. I've suffered from mental illness my entire life. Well, that's true. That's true. Yeah, we can all agree with that. <laughs> There's a reason I can't hold friendship, relationships, etc. I'll be damned if I'm going to let anyone who doesn't know me tell me how my brain functions and how my body feels. Because you say I'm claiming to have a mental disorder and that I'm mocking the people with a similar mental disorder as me. Well, fuck you, you dumb piece of shit. I am ashamed, embarrassed, and scared that you are a mental health advocate and that people are coming onto your show to share their stories, to have an open and safe discussion when you just accuse me of claiming that I have a you disorder. Oh, you have depression and anxiety? Are you sure about that, Anthony? Because you look fine. I haven't seen you that. Are you claiming this? I know. It was the same cool, spark of anger. Piece of shit. I mean, you don't know what goes on inside my head. You've never been in a relationship with me. You're not related to me. You don't even Ooh. fucking know me, you dumb piece so of shit. So many words per minute, too. Can you imagine waking up every morning not knowing who the fuck you are? Can you imagine being in a relationship with someone and all of a sudden you're switching, you're a different person, like, who was that? That was a different person. Whoa. Do you know how fucking scary that is? You dumb piece of Whoa. shit. And to call me fucking trash for sharing <laughs> my fucking mental health struggles and not anyone else's, not any of your stupid, shitty people that you Ooh. exploit. Oh, you're it exploitative. Does. You're a shitty person, and I am so fucking scared for anyone to go on your show. So you can make money, and you can be like this white knight and all this shit like that, and then you just turn around playing. Well, you go play, off. Tell yeah, me, it's like a long ass thing, but I was Tell me the mental disorders that are in oh, my clearly. fucking head. You I'm still, I was still here. I thought you guys were canceling me because of that, to be honest. Oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Anthony Padilla. I always, I see him on so Instagram, and he cracks me up if he posts pictures like this. I was like, bro, you can't, I was like, you can't post pictures like this. What do you think about guys who post that? I'm no, this is the thing. I, I don't mind it. And I was a fan. I was like such an advocate. I love his show. And I always said that to everyone. Anthony Padilla made a video called I spent a day with multiple personalities dissociative identity disorder saying that's like it's an informative video. He took to Instagram. Um, he posted on his story, you can learn about dissociative identity disorder from people who have DID and actually know what they're talking about. I just, I don't know how you can just discredit someone and say that they don't know anything that they're talking about if they sort of identify with traits of a specific mental illness or disorder. I can't diagnose myself, obviously, but if I think that I have those traits, that's kind of what Trish is doing. Like, I think that I have those traits, but she has a platform. She is a troll. She does go crazy sometimes and say things. But like, if I say, oh, I think I might be bipolar, but like, I'm not sure. And then for him to just call you out and be like, you know what? I have a video about people who are bipolar and who actually know what they're talking about. So you can learn about it. Okay. He's trying to disregard an opinion. So that's when she uploaded her video, Dear Anthony Padilla. And that's where she went off. She went off. Now I see a lot of people are calling her out and saying like, oh, she really called him out. But like if anyone calls her out, then she makes a big deal about it. Are you kidding me? I had no idea Mikey Glamangor was dating Anthony Padilla. I had no clue. 
Freaking everyone keeps saying Anthony's girlfriend more like freaking Mikey's boyfriend. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm shook. I had no idea. I'm so Mikey posted an Instagram story of both of them watching her video and like rolling their eyes at her, which is like, come on guys, if you're really gonna judge someone for acting like they have a disorder and making fun of them, think about maybe if they have a disorder and what you're presenting to the world by making fun of this person and not saying anything. It's kind of like, show the F up, like, come on, like say something to Trisha instead of just like making a rolling your eyes video, demeaning her like, you guys, come on. I had no idea they were together. I'm just shook right now. So I see why this kind of, this fight happened Yes, maybe Trisha shouldn't be using her platform to kind of spread um, images of herself that may or may not be true, but who are you to say that she doesn't have dissociative identity disorder? By you saying that she doesn't means that you are diagnosing her that she doesn't have it, which is counterintuitive to your overall message of spreading hate to Trisha Paytas, is you're saying that you don't have dissociative identity disorder, these people do, don't talk about it and say that you have it. But who are they to say that she doesn't have it? Because yes, Trisha is a troll. She is a troll, but she also has problems of her own. We all have our own problems. And when you have a platform and you diss on someone, thousands and thousands of people are watching that. And then those people are gonna go and diss that person. So I'm just saying Anthony Badia, he has a platform and he's using it to spread negativity by saying that this person doesn't have DID. She sh doesn't know what she's talking about, but they're kind of doing it like slight handed where they're not actually addressing it. They're just reacting to it. I'm just saying if you're trying to spread positivity and mental health awareness, you wouldn't have done that. So Trisha Paytas then posts, I did nothing but share my truth and now I'm being mocked because I'm known as the crazy mentally unstable troll of YouTube. Logic is to mock a mentally unstable person. That's exactly what I was saying. Anthony has a platform and he's spreading this message about Trisha and people are gonna go spread hate to her. And then Anthony posts on his Twitter and says, been busy today, did I miss anything? Like, okay, keep not addressing it. You know, all I'm saying like Trisha, She's not a great person to advocate mental wellness, mental health. But let me tell you, she always disclaims on her videos that she doesn't know what she's talking about and don't take anything that she says as truth or fact. And that, you know, this is her own personal experience. She's not a doctor. She's telling us her experience in her life and what she's feeling. Do people not have the right to do that? At least what she did was create a conversation about it. People are now talking about it. People are like, hmm, I don't know if she actually has that. Let me kind of like think about it. Let me think about my own experiences. Let me think, let me, let me research this. Do you not think that that's a positive thing? He, he's expecting perfection from everybody. No one is perfect, especially not him. I don't think that he should go around telling people what to do. That is my reaction and my opinion on James Charles and Trisha Paytas controversies. If you like the content, please don't forget to leave a like and a subscribe for more. If you like the makeup, let me know. If you have any other suggestions of what I should react to or of any other drama and tea spilling currently, please let me know. Okay, and I'll see you guys next time.